Hey guys, what's up? Blacker Bricks here, back with another video. So I wanted to make this video today to let you guys all know of the new release, or rather pre-release, of Dom's Dodge Charger on the LEGO website. So you go to Themes, press on Technic, and it is a bit hidden because it is, as you know, a pre-release. So you go through the first page, it is not there. You have to go to the second page actually to get there. And I know many of you guys might be surprised if you haven't seen an announcement video yet that this is made out of Technic. Um, I I was not aware of this until it was actually the pictures were released today. I thought that it was going to be just a buildable set with bricks and minifigures, but looks like they're going for a bit of a larger Technic scale. I really, really love the shaping just initially, just looking at it. I think this is really, really great shaping. The designers have just done a fantastic job truly capturing the essence of a Dodge Charger. If I just pull up a picture right now of the Dodge Charger Fast and Furious. Let's see what comes up. Oh, so that is a Lego one. Or no, that isn't. That looks... <laughs> that's a scaled down one. But let's look at the actual car that they have used. This is the car that they used as uh, the basis for the set. And I think in general, they really captured a lot of the elements very well. Like the the little, I'm not sure what that even is. I think, is that exhaust of some sort? That is captured up there. I think they have an extra little gear of some sort to uh, that moves when the vehicle moves. It's shown here as a bit blurry, so perhaps that moves when the car moves. The overall, just the hood. Uh, in the front and this the shaping in the back i think they they captured that really well with these little beams over here and that that newer style of piece the front of the car is fantastic as well i like how they use tiles and they actually use this uh this double slope over here uh that's a snot technique so they must have used that new bracket the one by one bracket that's cool that's cool they also have this nice, like, very, very detailed, fine grill piece. They did that just by, I think they added, what was that, a sticker? They have charger, and then that looks to me as just being a sticker. There's no way that they created that with anything else. They also have the headlights using just the boat studs in clear. It is a bit disappointing that the Technic pieces, the little blue Technic pieces are showing through, but I understand there's nothing they can do about that. Let's take a look from the side. Wow, man, that is one nice looking car. Back looks pretty good. Oh, look at that. There is a license plate. That's awesome. Looks like it is on a 2x4 tile, though. That is unfortunate. So you can't use it on minifigure scale vehicles. It might look a bit too big. Um, there are also some uh, tiles over here as the taillights. I believe those are probably just uh, trans red. One by two tiles on white. Correct me if I'm wrong. They also use the the macaroni tube sort of pieces very well back here for the shaping. The wedges in light bluish gray. That looks awesome. And then some exhaust pipes down here. That is beautiful shaping though. Just the the curves are just fantastic. I can I can sort of see honestly why they didn't do this in a brick built format. They have some more stickers down here. That's N2O. So nitrous oxide, and I'm guessing that's what the car runs on, something like that. Some pro proper model pictures. Looks pretty good, looks pretty good. And look at that, it has a little stand. That's really cool, actually. I could see a lot of uses for that. Maybe you want to pose it just jumping off a bridge. Hopefully they release more of these Fast and the Furious cars. Um, I, I do feel bad that they didn't release any minifigures with this that does really suck for any big fast and the furious fans i am not personally but i can see why you would want minifigures that's one of the coolest things about lego and it does suck but i don't believe they've ever released minifigures with technic before here's a little 360 video check out everything and it appears the last picture here is just a blueprint. So it shows the dimensions. We're 16 inches wide, or rather 16 inches long. I'm sorry about that. Some uh, music in the background. It is 7 inches wide and 4 inches tall. I think that's my phone. I should probably pick that up. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, have a great day and stay healthy, guys.